Aquarius. Let's see, we need to attract people who create more light than heat. So you're probably attracting people and surrounded by people that are very much like drama or, you know, or just drama, okay, or heat instead of light. So, you know, they don't have any, any solutions in their turmoil. So make sure that you're conscious of that and then you start closing out your cycles with that and really bringing in people with light and uh, that are your vibrational match and that they have answers, you know, that they're beings of light. So this is three huge collaboration. There's a door, there's an opportunity that's gonna come to you. Okay, let me tell you when. This is very interesting, very exciting. This is for Aquarius. Let me check my little calendar here. It's coming um, by the 17th, okay? By like the 16th through the 17th, of this uh, month, all right? I don't see that it's it's in another month. I think it's coming. So there's gonna be a huge portal opening up for you that's gonna be very collaborative, okay? Possibly a new beginning in work or an opportunity at work that's gonna be huge, okay? Huge, huge portal opening. There's also um, a full moon coming in, I think on the 13th, so you're gonna be ending that. You're gonna be ending the cycle and releasing something. All right, you found the key to something and huge collaboration. Potential, yeah, the potential's huge. This is gonna take you by storm, or not, not by storm, that's incorrect. This is gonna be really huge for you, all right? You found the key. This is uh, Black Moon Lilith Mystery, so, um, you don't see this coming, okay? Cute, yeah, this is gonna happen on that weekend, like the weekend of the 17th. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be a surprise. I think you can feel it. I just, you know, don't think you know what's coming. So you have healing energy flows through you. Mystic healer. So you might be a mystic healer. You might be a Reiki. You're, you've, uh, you've, uh, You've gained a lot of wisdom. Your crown and your third eye chakra are opening and you're light, okay? And you're manifesting and you're alchemizing whatever it is that you want. And then go with the flow. Another go with the flow and potential, okay? Go with the flow. You're gonna be super happy. Your emotions are really stable, okay? You're gonna be really happy. This might also be a trip that you might be taking to like a body of water, so like a beach or some sort of lake. All right, or some waterfront of some sort, like the Pacific, I don't know, like Seattle or Vancouver or something like that. All right, spiritual union, you're coming into spiritual union or possibly already in, huge transformation, third eye opening. You might have some Scorpio in your chart or this person has Scorpio in your chart. This is also, um, this union is gonna, like go through a portal, okay? After like the crescent moon that I told you and it's gonna be huge potential, all right? There's gonna be lots of love. Choose wisely because I think you're gonna have choices. So make sure, make sure that you choose wisely. This is a very sacred union as well, okay? Very spiritual, um, that is very divinely guided. I think you've been on and off and I think you've been uh, unsure when this person comes back again because it looks like you have had history with this person. If you haven't, then it's gonna be a beautiful union. But if you have, it's because you've had to mend a relationship and this is mending. So you're kind of worried that it won't uh, work out. You're gonna know, okay? So just go with the flow and make sure that you see and accept the red flags. Healing chaos, 33, so 33, this is huge collaboration, and you're gonna go through this portal where you're gonna be healing chaos. This, if, this are, if there's a person that comes back, this person is gonna come back very changed, and they're um, shedding their old, their old skin and becoming someone uh, new, okay? So I think that it'll work. This is also somebody that's very different from you, all right? And I think that that's been part of the problem, but I think that you know, with your light, because I think you've had, you know, you've, you've come into light in this relationship. I think that that has helped tremendously. Yeah, resurrection, come back, rebirth, renew. What did I tell you? Someone's coming back. All right, and this is divinely guided. You're gonna be really happy and it's gonna be really good because this person has done some of the healing. Very interesting. 
So this is an Aquarius. You're also going to like buy a house or something like that. This person also, because you're so like, you're a mystic. So you're a shaman, you know, tarot reader, witch, light worker, uh, Pleiadian. I forget how you pronounce that. Please forgive me. I butchered that. Um, so I think that uh, this person has been like enlightened, okay, as well. And is barely doing their awakening. It's slow, but it's here. So appreciation, I think they're going to very much appreciate you, okay, if they haven't in the past. I think that this goes with everything at work, and I think you're going to get more appreciation um, in general. Yeah, 22. <laughs> Huge wish fulfillment. Nest egg. You guys are building a home. Um, you know, uh, yeah, you're building some stability. You've gained a lot of wisdom. They're going to put you up on a pedestal. It's also like, which is not good, but um, so be mindful of that. And then, uh, but you're going to go up in, um, in position, okay? with this person as well as with work. So whatever it is that you manifested in the last moon cycle or six, six, six months ago that you did with your moon, you're gonna be getting it. Yeah, beautiful and uncaging, absolutely. This is a 14 and this is a 15. So do you see how you're gonna go through this portal? You're gonna open someone's heart finally. Very interesting, and it's gonna open so much, like so much, it's gonna open so much. This is Aquarius, please help me um, grow my channel if you're not. Um, if you're not subscribed, I would love for you to join, in, join me. Discovery. This is about discovering that maybe you tricked yourself alone because there's people that haven't been able to love you and they've been very isolated and you've isolated yourself because you think that that there was something wrong with you uh, because someone couldn't love you, but it has nothing to do with them, okay? This story is about, you know, this person being in love with Petunia, but, you know, God's source energy is telling them that Petunia can't love back. They're just a flower, okay? So that's it. And then maybe tricking yourself and, you know, and because of that, you being in isolation and no need for that, okay? So this is about self-love and coming into love and understanding who can reciprocate you in terms of love, all right, and understanding that the people that cannot reciprocate you in love has nothing to do with you and that they can't reciprocate. So you're asking you're asking something of them that they cannot produce, even if they wanted to. All right, it's a beautiful read. If you're a subscriber, which means that you're probably uh, one of my students or uh, family or friends, thank you so much for all the support you give me. Friendship, yeah. Um, seek out your soul family, surrender, surround yourself with positive people, spend more time socializing. So you need to spend more time socializing. Remember that this was like, uh, we need to attract people who create more light. So it looks like you need to do some changes in terms of friendships and you have to, you know, uh, come into people that believe in your, in your, in your vibration. Okay. And you know, people that are positive, that are not negative. It looks like you have a lot of Debbie Downers and stuff like that, okay? Those like caring people or whatever. I don't know what that is exactly, but anyway. So let's see what we get. You're feeling left out in the cold, all right, by someone or something, feeling depleted financially and emotionally. Maybe in the relationship that you're in or someone that you're attached to that isn't complete. This person is not complete, okay? Yeah, having to do with a relationship that was very uncollaborative, co collaborative, okay? So this is exactly what I mentioned about asking someone to be something that they can't be. Uh, you, um, you've retracted your love and there was some defenses that went down, okay? This person might be coming back and offering something, but you're kind of on the defense over you don't care. There was a moving, okay, energy or someone moved out, okay, or um, yeah, someone moved out. A destabilization of a, of a home situation or 
uh, an institution or moving uh, jobs, but I think this is, this has to do with the relationship. It wasn't just, you were very confused about this and there was a lot of like possibly uh, like, um, what is it called? Options, okay? But you found the strength possibly to move 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 forward and be on the defensive and create some sort of boundaries. Know that you had the higher ground and there was a lot of competition having to do with some sort of deceit or lies or um, non-truths, okay? Take it as it resonates. It could be a, a relationship or it can be also at work, all right? You're trying to heal and really build your money as well as uh, be uh, very financially secure. This was faded and destined. There could have been some travel or distance, all right? This might. Uh, this was some karma that played out and it was a judgment call. You got some sort of message either divinely or, you know, or, or, or in 3D physical. Um, and so this can also be like a reconciliation from someone, yeah, from someone that's coming that might be willing to offer you something. They're at a distance, okay, because this thing didn't work out, but you already cut them off or you cut them off or this person was cut off by someone else. Yeah, you're looking into the future, okay, because this was not stable. There might have been like a lot of partying or drinking or something like that. All right, and you want somebody that's equal give and take and somebody that's very communicative and possibly someone that isn't back and forth, all right? And a new endeavor that's stable. So you're closing out anything that's not stable and anything that does not offer you what you deserve. You feel that this is a lost opportunity. This person does, you know, having to be with such stability and legacy and you feel or they feel that this was a lost opportunity, okay? And it was a no-win situation and someone has, uh, you know, dropped that burden, okay? You got enlightened or someone did and they might be coming in with an apology or some sort of love offer and or possibly some sort of date, but you're not very loving at this moment or this person isn't, this might have also involved like a, like a situation uh, of a marriage of some sort and having to do with children. It's an ending of a cycle, a beginning of a new one, having to do with possibly um, happiness, uh, there's gonna be an offer. This can also be like some sort of gambling or drinking that has happened, all right? In which like there was money that was spent. You've had an epiphany, all right? You were up in your head about it or this person was. You might be dealing with a Scorpio. So you're just working, all right? You don't care about love, but there might be someone that's coming back uh, that was very cold and detached and wasn't very loving or, or used to tell you that they had a lot of work. They're building their empire. This was somebody from the past, all right, who is not stable or they might be single now, okay, and the wait is over. Maybe they're single from this, like their baby mama or their, their mother's uh, children, okay? They're not doing, if they're not single and they haven't, like they're not in separation, they will be, okay? Or they're getting a divorce, all right? There's some secrets intuitively and for that reason you moved on or they moved on, they're intuitively, uh, you know, uh, nudge to move on. Yeah, someone's left a home or there was a lot of toxicity to home. It wasn't balanced, okay? There was a lot of fear, a lot of uncertainty. They might be dealing with a cancer or Pisces as well. This person is in their power or you are and they're trying to manifest stability, okay? This is also like corporation and possibly like CEO or lots of money coming in. Person of power. And they're healing that. Or this can also be you, that you're building your uh, money, okay? Yeah, this was a huge betrayal having to do with like love and they were in and out, okay? You were expecting an apology, doesn't seem like they came. Uh, very indecisive energy, lots of in and out. Um, you know, this was a higher commitment. <sighs> Broke your heart, you know, but you're victorious and you're overcoming your heartache, but you feel like it's not a new beginning with this, okay? Or they feel. You were up in your head, but you've released that burden, okay? And that toxicity. This person, um, it, they were very conflictive. Uh, they weren't standing in their power. You're looking into the future for a new endeavor. There might be communication coming in, all right? Uh, or lack of, uh, sorry, this is not, there. there isn't any communication in and you've had an epiphany about something and there's some truth that you know. Hope this helped Aquarius, love and light.